Hi. Caution, Hi, Drew. Caution, mid-stretch. Did you finish that one? I don't uh, want to interrupt it. I think I'm okay. I think sure? I'm okay. It's the morning, you know. Don't you hate it when you have to break out. off a yawn and you don't have to get to complete the yawn? I always complete the don't yawn. Don't say yawn. It's contagious. Yeah. Is yawning? Nice. I always complete the yawn. <laughs> I always complete the yawn. Brian Goulet, I'm ladies break and gentlemen. A yawn. Sometimes it happens. No. All right, next time you yawn, I'm going to get you. No, I'm going to complete it. You don't care. Mid-sentence, whatever. I'll yawn. There you go. See, that's what I'm singing. That's the worst. Anyway, cheers. Hi. I like your mug? Good morning. Thank you. Moose mug, this is huh? Moose mug, yep. Nice. When I bought this, the receipt that I got from Starbucks said, one mug moose, and it made me very happy. One mug moose. Yeah, so that's just that's my one mug moose. <laughs> That's pretty great. What are we going to talk about today, buddy? I think we're going to talk about mooses and stretching and yawning. Definitely. I hope you're ready, because we've only just begun. I feel very bantery this morning. I don't know why. Hmm, I don't know. No. It's just me. I don't know. What's, I don't know. Yeah, sure. How do you feel about oatmeal cookies? Oatmeal cookies? I'm, a, I'm pro oatmeal cookie. Yeah. yeah. Classic. Timeless classic. Okay. Cho with chocolate chips. Okay. <laughs> with chocolate chips is, is superior. Okay. By far. Chocolate makes everything better. Well, would it make this pen better? Let's yes. talk about the feast. <laughs> it would. <laughs> it would. <laughs> so we're going to talk about the Bennu, Bennu Titan, Titan, which is our exclusive. Yes. And this is our first collaboration with Bennu, mm -hmm. um, obviously uh, founded by Benjamin New of... Uh, <laughs> That's, no, not, that's, that's, not, not that's, not, that's not true at all. That's not true. I'm not true. I actually don't know where the name originates from, to be honest with you. But the pens are made in Russia. Yes. Which is our first and only Russian pen manufacturer. Yeah. Point of fact. Uh, and we've been carrying the pens for a year or so. Uh, and this is the first opportunity we had, like Drew mentioned, to do an exclusive. And, of course, we had to go with blue and purple. Because right. Because it's very on brand for mm -hmm. us. Um, and we wanted some glittery stuff in there too. So uh, we said, why the heck not? Um, so basically the way that this pen was conceived is we threw out the idea like, hey, can we do an exclusive? And they were like, sure, what do you want to do? We were like, okay, let's figure it out. So we took you know, the hexagon format and we said, you know, it'd be cool to have the same luminescence that you have in the briolette, but like this is called luminescent blue and it's like slightly it's blue. It's like a light blue. Yeah, but we were like, let's make it blue which we'd never seen before. So that's what they did. They made a very blue. That's blue. Luminescent blue. That's blue. So the blue parts glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. And mean? the purple parts do not. No. No, they don't. And you've got a nice uh, shimmery aspect. You've got some glitter in there, which if you like Banu and are familiar with it, that's kind of their thing. Mm -hmm. And you can be assured that every single one is going to be a little bit different. The patterns of the glitter is going to be a little, you know, here and there. Not any one pen is going to be identical. They're all going to have the same basic. Well, let's pull out another one here. I've got the packaging here if you want to see that. Sure. There's a little, uh, what do you call this? You don't call this clamshell. What kind of box with lid? What do you call that? Is there, is there a I retail term for that? lidded box. Lidded box. You've got some, you got that full size. A little information. A little Easter grass in there. Yeah, full size cartridge a yeah. standard international long, long nice yeah. some 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 paper <laughs> some, <laughs> some literature that's right and and i will say the box for any of you that have been new it's like i don't know if they put like perfume or something in here but it's, it smells fragrant did you like did the packaging you, smells really good you smelled this thing too why have a, oh everybody knows did you did did it like did you sniff it out of curiosity or could you feel something wafting off of it? Oh, like the first it? time I opened the pen, okay. well, because the first shipment that we ever got, it was like samples and stuff. There were like 12 boxes or something. And I could just like, whoo, I was like, it? wow, it smells interesting. Not really. No? It smells like ring allergy. It smells like store. <laughs> smells like store? You're yeah, smelling the cardboard more than you smell it. smells like, I don't know, yeah. I don't know, I smell it. It's fragrant. <laughs> mm. I'd wear that. I'd wear that as cologne. Oh, uh, yes, eau de Benu. <laughs> well, hey, here's the box it comes with. It's got these little flappy doos on the side, and you open up the flappy doo. That's, that's the technical term. And Sheboygan, there you go. Nice. And so, comparing the two, you can see that everything is just about the same. The only thing that's going to be majorly different is well, just. Well, yours has a little more blue in it than purple. You think like so? Your blue, your blue infiltrates a little deeper Ooh. into the pen. Ah. You know? So it's going to vary a little bit. There you go. And the luminescence is slightly translucent, not enough really to be able to tell your ink level or anything like that, but you can tell, like, oh, there's there's a, something in there. And the like, uh, so the purple there. does have, if you look really closely, it does have a little bit of a pearlescence a to bit, it. it it's not flat. I mean, it's a fun looking pen. Yeah. 
if you're into Banu and you're already, you know, taking a look at the glittery aspects and just the overall kind of wow factor at mm -hmm. first appearance of these pens, you're going to like this guy. Oh, yeah. And the thing that we liked about the Hexagon, the reason we chose to do this one for our first exclusive was because it's such a comfortable pen to write with. Surprisingly. Yeah. It looks crazy, but it actually is very well balanced. The grip is really comfortable. Um, it's, it's a very smooth writer. I mean, it's got the same nibs as like the Briolettes and mm -hmm. uh, the Chameleons and stuff, but um, yeah, they're when you fan. When you look at the textured material, you wonder like, how is this going to feel on my hand? Sometimes textured pens mm -hmm. can make you feel a little cringy depending on how fine the, uh, the texture yeah. is. Yeah. You really don't even notice it. You move your, your fingers over it and it's almost flush. You don't even feel the... Uh, the um, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's like well yeah. rounded over, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't bother me it's at all. It's sharp. Yeah. And uh, they're eyedropper convertible, so that's they neat. Are. Mm -hmm. That's neat. There's no uh, additional components in here to uh, get ink trapped in, so that'd be cool. Yeah. I think you'd probably need an O-ring. Probably. I probably It's not would. a bad idea. Yeah, it's never it's a bad, bad idea. idea. If you're eyedropping a pen, O-rings never hurt. The uh, what, we, what we call the preppy O-rings, that's just like our universal mm -hmm. kind of O-ring. That would fit nicely on here, and then you can just ink it up. Mm -hmm. And it does Take have a good order. amount of turns on the barrel and body, and mm -hmm. that's good when you when you're eyedroppering because yeah. the more threads, the more protection you have against the yeah. ink moving around. Always there. good to throw a little silicone grease on those threads when eyedroppering. For right? sure, um, that'll increase your ink capacity by like threefold at least. For sure, uh, from a typical converter. Uh, and nib sizes extra fine through broad. That's right. Now these are Schmidt nibs. It says it right on here. These are German nibs. Mm -hmm. Schmidt. They don't actually manufacture their own nibs. They either source them from Bach or Yovo. Oh, okay. We don't quite know which these are. <coughs> they don't have breather holes. So, they don't. And if you don't already know, they're not really necessary. They're more like a guideline to uh, stop the manufacturing process from cutting too far into yeah. the nib when they're making the... Well, like uh, long units don't have breather holes. No, they're just know. fine. Just it's fine. Mostly aesthetic. It is. It really is. And look at this. We've got a uh, you've got a pen case here. Yeah, I got this or little pen, pen case. Pen holder. Case. Is this pen a case? stand. Yeah. Pen stand. Yeah. This is just another thing from Benita. that's kind of fun. It's kind of made more to match the luminescence of the Briolette. It does. But you know, it still kind of works for this, and it's pretty fun. You can't tell in the dark. Yeah. If you want to feel like your crazy luminescent blue pen is like coming up out of the crystal cave cavern situation here. Um, it's the only thing I like that I've ever seen, so it's pretty it fun. It's like 25 And that, that's, that's the thing with Benu. There really are going to be pens that you've never really seen before. They offer a lot of very unique items. That they have. And it doesn't look like they're going to be slowing that down anytime soon. That is their nope. thing. Yep. They have kind of cornered the market as far as really <laughs> interesting, crazy, glittery pens. Yep, and we're digging it. So you can check out more about these on GoulaiPens.com. The Titan is a special edition, so we are not going to have them forever. We basically bought one shot, and then once they sell out, they're going to be gone. So we don't know exactly how long we're going to have them. We didn't do like a numbered limited edition thing because we weren't sure if we wanted to at right. the time that we ordered them. If we wanted to carry them on going or and not. And it's our first decided. go at this. So yeah. tell us what you think. If you mm -hmm. were designed a Bennu pen, what would yours look like? You know, we're always interested in hearing. Yeah, true, because we have the option to do this again if we Heck want. Yeah. So there you go. You can learn more about these on the site. Like, comment, subscribe. Get yourself a one moose mug if you want to be cool like Drew. They also have one with a bear. One bear mug? Ooh. There you go. They could be friends. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> right on.